what, um, ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to be looking at a triangle, all right, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be investigating a right triangle. All right. Now, when investigating right triangles, we know that's a right triangle. Remember we talked about right angles or we talked about 90 degree angles, right? So those right angles, those 90 degree have that little box. If you don't have a box in it or it doesn't say 90 degrees, please do not assume that it's 90 degrees. Okay, unless you see that little box there that, e that says that it's 90 degrees, or you see a little number 90 with the degree symbol, do not assume that it's a right angle. All right, now, when you have a triangle in this form, when you have a right angle and you have this triangle, what is directly across from the angle is what we call the hypotenuse. All right, yes, please do. Then, on the triangle, you also have what we call two sides. All right? And what Pythagorean theorem states is that, let me go and get another color, the sum of the square of the sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So let's just call this A, B, and C. So let's give our sides, all these sides of a triangle, a name. So what it states is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That's it. OK? So I'll go and work through a couple problems for you guys. But that's basics of what you guys need to know. The main important thing is knowing that you cannot apply Pythagorean theorem. The only